Welcome back. It's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. We've got some body armor testing in store for you. Specifically, some soft armor from Safeguard Armor. This is our level 3A. It's rated to stop threats such as 9mm, 45 ACP, all the way up to 44 Magnum. Uh, we're going to put this thing through its paces today and really test it out. Everything from ball ammo uh, up through my carry ammo, some federal HST. So definitely stick around. This is going to be a blast to do. This is the carrier from Safeguard that it comes with. It's one of their cool carriers. This is actually a really nice carrier. It honestly serves no purpose to shoot the soft armor through this nice carrier. So I'm gonna save this carrier uh, for another day. But let's get to work on this. So I've never claimed a lot of the testing we do here is fully scientific. The amount of research and things you have to do to have a fully scientific compliant test, NIJ rules, all that different stuff, is intensive and it's outside the realm of anything you're gonna find. Uh, most people doing uh, a YouTube or wherever else, unless you're a manufacturer, you pay for all these testing, you go through all this compliance, everything else, temperature, everything has to be just right. So what I've done here today, it's a beautiful day, mid 70s, sun's shining. I've got the armor placed directly up against the grass uh, and dirt there on the berm at providing our backstop. So there's a number of different ways you could do that. That's how we've done it here today for our testing purposes. And I think it's gonna be as good as we can make it here in the real world without trying to pull any smoke and mirror tactics on you guys and make you think we're doing something greater than we really are. Anyway, let's get started. We have one of my favorite handguns here. This is the 1911. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I don't carry one. I never, probably never will. But these things are a lot of fun. This is a Springfield TRP. Uh, possibly one of the uh, best for the money out of the box. Nice 1911s you can find. Anyway, uh, we've got our armor there. Right side, proper side facing out as if it would be on the body. Body side would be the berm side. Let's get started here. We're about five yards away, roughly. So we're gonna put this into that lower left-hand corner down there wing. All right, let's take a look. So there's our entry point right there. And no exit at all on the other side here. And you can feel a little, little something right there. All right, let's get on to the next one. Up next, we've got some of my carry ammo, some Federal HSTs. We're gonna put those in the uh, right-hand wing there. All right, so there is our entry right there. Some solid bunching up of some fabric here. And then uh, no penetration out of the back. And honestly, I am, ooh, you can tell that mushroomed out pretty well. I'm looking forward to cutting this out uh, later and seeing how this HST expanded in here. We're gonna put some nine millimeter ball um, in the middle, uh, middle center there. Actually went on a pretty good angle there. May have been a little more of an angle than I uh, than I had imagined. We slipped down on that one a little bit, but uh, there's our impact and uh, nothing out of the back here. Up next is the venerable 38 Special. Uh, it's probably one of the most common rounds a criminal is going to use. And we're going to put two of these at very close range here. See how she does. Looks like her GoPro died. All right, so we've got our two rounds that hit right here and right here. And nothing out the back. All right, so speaking of those common rounds again, this is a CCI mini mag. So this is a pretty fast round coming out of a barrel that's probably a little bit longer than the average uh, little pocket Yamina's arms average criminal is gonna have, but uh, Still, 
see how she does. I am going to go for the uh, kind of the top center area there. It's not too much of an angle on that. You didn't even, <laughs> compared to those other rounds, you didn't even see that guy bounce. All right, so there is our entry right there. And no exit. You can kind of feel that guy right about there. All right. Those of you who are familiar know we've done armor testing in the past. Um, and the big takeaway, we did AR500 armor, some hard armor from them, and it fantastic, took a huge wallop. But the takeaway is it's speed that kills. Once you get over that speed rating, you're going to get penetrations. So in that light, we've got some 9mm, same 124-ish grain stuff we were shooting earlier. But instead now, we're going to run it through the 7-inch barreled SCU uh, upper here from X Products. It's going to be pretty close. If this does penetrate, uh, this is going to push us over our speed limit. It's going to be right there on the edge. Uh, that's why I saved it for the last one. We're just going to see what's going to happen. And again, we've got zero penetration here on the backside. I'm gonna, here, let me step out of the way here of the sun. So you can see from all angles here, this is just a little ripping of the uh, thing here. There's no penetration. You can see we hit again right here. And we've got a lot of bunching up, a lot of stuff in here and going on, but we've still got no penetration. Actually, we've got a couple slugs down here. Let's go ahead and cut these out and take a look at them. All right, so I mentioned we could feel some things floating around down here. Let's go ahead and cut this open and see what it looks like inside. There we go, and tell me I've dumped them out onto the ground here, or are they still? All right, so here we are. Try and put some better pictures here. But uh, we had some nine millimeter hits here and here. This, I, if I remember correctly, this would have either been 45 or this would have been our nine millimeter jack, jacketed hollow point HSTs. We'll have to remember which side was which. I would assume this would have been 45 and this would have been the, that just because of the indentions here. Tell a little bit of the bunching here as well and uh that's about it we've got a little cut back here but this other backing layer here nothing uh nothing seemed to happen to it here and of course like an idiot when i peeled that off half of these rounds went flying to the ground i'm going to dig those up i'll put, get some better still images here this is that ball round that mushroomed out one of them we got one of these guys right in here Guessing this is going to be that HST round, maybe. Take a look and see if we can't cut this out here. Oh wow! You can tell that guy hit at an angle. Check that out. Like hit sideways, and that's just weird. All right, let's see what other rounds we have. We can feel in here that are still in here. Right, this this guy's flattened pretty well. And remember, in and of itself, Kevlar isn't 
rated to protect against knives. You need other, ooh, make sure I don't cut myself. You need other protection levels on top of that rated for knives. This is one funky looking round. Here we go, we've got another guy right here. See if we can push this out. So we've already cut this guy open, dug some bullets out. We actually have a pretty decent area right here that hasn't been affected. A couple of those bullets hit a little on an edge just because the way we had it. So I moved over to another spot here. We're gonna put this up against the uh, berm and I wanna fire an HST in it first, then take a look. Then we're just gonna dump some other rounds into it. All right, we stopped it again. I'm gonna dig this guy out here. All right, well, let's not, I'm gonna cut it out in a minute, but so you guys can see it there, see a little bit of the metal in the sun glinting through there. There we go. You can see it in there. We'll cut that guy out in a minute. All right, now we've got three rounds. These next three rounds are gonna be uh, ball ammo, nine millimeter. Basically worst case scenario. So we've got one, two, and three right here. These two hit really close together. And one of these did actually puncture and go into this back layer. And let's see here. We cracked our thing. It did not penetrate the back here. Went through that front layer and wound up in this back uh, piece here. So what you've seen here today is this vest has definitely stood up to everything it was rated for. Uh, one of those last rounds of nine millimeter, these guys hitting so close, the way this fabric works, go down and check uh, some of the information below if you really wanna get into the technical stuff on this. But as it hits, the fabric expands, it pulls, and getting rounds, you see these three, one, two, three right here. This is way closer than what you would normally see in any sort of testing, and they wouldn't, uh, to certify a vest, they wouldn't do that. But in any case, we've got a couple more rounds of 45 here. Let's put them in this area right here. Man, that put a hurt on that. It did not go through. Just a second here. Actually, put this back inside here and maybe we can catch another one of those 45 rounds inside there. Ah, ah there we go. Ooh, a little toasty. There you are. All right, I'm going to dig this uh, HST round out of here and we'll be back. All right guys, so here's that last HST round. Now, Hitting something like this does not mean it's gonna have the same expansion as in tissue, so keep that in mind. I mean, you see they are mushrooming out, 
but obviously keep in mind it's not like when it goes into tissue how it blossoms out. This is just stopping dead in its tracks against this. I'd say this 3A armor from Safeguard Armor held up admirably here today. It handled absolutely everything we threw at it, including these three 9mm rounds that were at about, what, two and a half-ish feet within about an inch of each other. That one round did sneak through this first level, but as you can tell, it was stopped by this level right here and nothing out the back on it. And you'll see that with some of the different armor and soft armor when you start getting up above uh, the level two. You'll see them stack some of these things and that may be one of the reasons why. If you have any questions about anything we've got coming up, uh, facebook.com forward slash gun reviews uh, or Instagram, we are at 13C Gun Reviews. Got a lot of stuff coming up and your questions and comments and feedback have been invaluable in helping to shape some of the content that's been coming out and some of the different testing and things that we do. So definitely, please keep that coming. It's greatly appreciated. We appreciate the support. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. Got a lot more in the works right now as well. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Be safe.